Hi children, how are you? Today, we're gonna study about a chapter, The Magic Broom, all right? And this is a lesson of a cat and a mouse. How many of you like this cartoon, Tom and Jerry? Yes, you like it, right? Yes, generations after generations, it's been cherished, that cartoon is cherished, the Tom and Jerry. Here, the magic broom, page number 20, we have Billu the mouse and Minnie the cat. They were neighbors. Who are neighbors? Those who stay just next to us, just next to our house. Okay, so those are, they were neighbors. Minnie always kept her house neat and clean. Who is Minnie? Minnie the cat. The values covered in this chapter is about cleanliness, doing your own work. Okay, small children, I will be asking you to do small, small tasks so that you can always help your mom at home. Okay, Billu was a little lazy and did not clean his house, but he would hear Minnie playing music and singing and cleaning her house every day. He thought to himself, how does Minnie keep her house so tidy? You, do, you wanted your house to be so neat and tidy. Do you like a place where everything is a mess? No. So every day, Minnie kept her house so tidy. Tidy means very neat. One day, he saw Minnie cleaning with a magic broom. What is a broom, children? The one which we use to clean the house. How nice it would be if I had that magic broom, he thought. I could relax and it would do all the cleaning for me. It is a magic broom. So that broom will be doing all the job. Okay. So he stole the magic broom. Begin the cleaning. He ordered. Okay, begin the cleaning, magic broom. He ordered. The magic broom began cleaning his house right away. It started cleaning. One by one, it started cleaning the house. It cleaned out the corners and the shelves. Corners, corners of the house, the shelves, the cupboards. It dusted the carpets and the cushions. It dusted the carpets and the cushions. It swept the house till it was sparkling clean. Sparkling, so shining. You clean and clean and clean and then it becomes like a polished surface. It became like that. Bilu was very happy indeed. She's very happy. She is not doing the job. It was the magic broom who's doing all this work. But then he did not know how to stop it. How to stop it? This is a magic broom. He knows only to give the command. He start cleaning, but he did not know what is the magic word to stop cleaning it. The magic broom kept on cleaning. It swept away all his food also. My God, it swept away all his clothes and furniture. His clothes, whatever needed also, the magic broom started cleaning off. The magic broom even swept Bilu right out of his house. It started cleaning him also. Bilu cried out for help. He didn't know what to do. He started crying. He wanted help. He wanted to stop this cleaning. Minnie heard him and came out of her home. She saw the magic broom chasing poor Bilu and laughed out loud. Serves you right, Bilu. It serves you right. You should get it. That will teach you never to steal again. He actually stole the broom and see what happened now, she said. Then she said some magic words and stopped the broom. Okay, so Minnie, it is Minnie's broom and Billu stole it. He doesn't know what to do. 
okay so what happened is like billu felt ashamed i'm so sorry i felt i really feel ashamed of myself mini said the clean fairy gifted me this and as i kept my house tidy you should work hard and do your duty before asking for help isn't it children yes you should ask help instead of stealing it stealing is not good though billu was very sorry indeed he said he would work hard to keep his house clean from then on okay so billu said i'm sorry from now onwards from today onwards i will start doing my work by myself and the moral of the story here is you must do your work cleanliness is next to godliness to be clean and tidy is just as important as being good so you are good if you clean your things okay children with this we finished our chapter the magic broom and shall we go to the exercises the magic broom is a beautiful lesson did you like it children so what did you learn from the story you should do your work by yourself small small things all you can do it by yourself like for example drying clothes take the plate after you eat take the plate and keep it for washing then what else keep the furniture in place clean your study room okay so you can do all these small small work by yourself let's do the exercises in page number 23 clean habits which of the following do you do to keep yourself clean color the happy smiley in your favorite color if the following statements are true else color the sad smiley black i brush my teeth twice a day i brush my teeth twice a day happy i bathe in the morning and in the evening smiley i clip my nails regularly I clip my nails. You cut your nails regularly. Again a happy smiley. I clean my toy cupboard every week. Yes. I keep my study desk clean. Yes. That's right. And how many happy smileys have you colored children? Do you have at least 5? Full 5? Yes. Then you're absolutely good children. Okay will you make the sad now if somebody has any sad, sad smileys there i wish you should change your habit and make it a yes and have a happy smiley there all right now roman number 2 circle the correct choice billu is a clean mouse yes mini was clean not billu so it is false Minnie cleaned her home regularly. Did Minnie clean her home regularly? True. Billu took permission from Minnie before taking the broom. False. She did not take permission. The broom chased Minnie out of a house. Yes. False. Only Minnie knew the magic words to stop the magic broom. True. So next page number twenty-four. Clean children. Roman number three is clean children. Let's see who all are clean here. Circle the orange star for clean children and black star for dirty children. Can you see some pictures there children? The first girl is combing her hair. So is it orange star or black star? It is orange. The second boy is looking very dull. He did not comb his hair. So it is an orange star or a black star? It is black. Next boy, he 
He is cheerful. He is smiling. Is it an orange star or a black star? It is orange. And the next boy, katte do adu teetti. The second boy, look at the second boy. Is he neat? No, because he had a shabby look. He did not comb his hair. So, an orange star or a black star for him? Black. Look at the third boy. What is missing in him? Is he a good boy or a bad boy? So, that means he has a small hole in his shirt. Tone. Okay, so, no, it is a black star. And the last boy, he looks very neat. And that gives an orange star for him. Okay. So, shall we move on to activity for fun, Roman number 5 in page number 24. Okay. So, that is color the house that you would like to live in. Look at the two pictures, children. <coughs> Here, in the first picture, you have all the furniture not in place. Everything is out of place there. You can see ball, the books are upside down and so many things there. But do you see the second picture, how well arranged it is? So in which house do you like to live in? Okay, the second one, so color that. And answer the following questions in a single line would be the next activity that we will be doing. Okay, so the first question is... Which of the two was lazy, Bilu or Mini? Who was lazy? Bilu was lazy. Why was Bilu in trouble after cleaning his house with the magic broom? Because Bilu did not know to stop the broom from cleaning. How did Mini get the magic broom? How did Mini get the magic broom, children? Minnie got the magic broom by spelling the magic words. Okay, so with this, we finished our lesson, the magic broom. Did you like it? Yeah, so with this, and I hope all my children would be doing their duties very neatly and keep your house neat and tidy. Thank you.